I don't really remember exactly what I was doing back in 2009, but one thing is for sure, I just didn't have a good computer. After the butcher was dead, peace returned to Paris. At least for one night. This is the year where Velvet Assassin came out, and I really wanted to play it because I remember it had a bit of a combination between the original Sniper Elite, the first one, and Hitman 2. You throw in a new formula of female protagonist, and back then I just went gaga for this game. Incredibly high specs, and for the time I played it on a 17 inch monitor, absolutely destroyed my first experience with Violet Summer. Who, by the way, fun fact, is actually inspired from a real life heroine. A woman that exists in real life, a British agent, a spy called Violet Sabo. Yeah, this amazing woman was actually working for the Brits in the World War II, but she was born in Paris, which I guess makes her French. Even though her family name to me, Sabo, rings and feels a bit Polish rather than English or French, but it doesn't matter. I don't know much about history. Finally, I got this game almost for free. I got it for a couple of euros and it's digital. I don't have to worry about my scratch CD, whatever that was. And after so many years, my rig can actually handle max settings at 2K native resolution. This helps because now I can actually see what's happening on the screen since the entire game you will be playing around shadows and everything is sort of dark to keep the atmosphere. You do get some yellow beautiful sunset and some cloudy dark skies. The graphics for that time, perhaps even now, it still holds up. It looks good and it gives a good feeling. Unfortunately, very clunky mechanics is what did not impress even back then in 2009 the fact that you cannot jump using space instead every single action our female super spy has to perform you get to left click and i guess a lack of complete no multiplayer gave it bad reviews in 2009 but things over year change you know and these video games even though they're old now we look at them with different eyes while i have no idea how accurate the missions are to what really happened in real life i can say that this is the second stealth video game i've ever played that, that has the most stealth feeling to it second to splinter cell chaos theory that one was the best velvet assassin really makes you feel like you are a secret agent do keep in mind you are playing an old video game the music triggers at every single turn and it feels inspired from a 90s movie the color palette and gradient used on the graphics and the vulnerability that Violet has every single time she takes a turn when she opens a new door or where she has to take out a bad guy it just makes your heart beat faster you, you feel like you're in danger you feel like she's squeamish and you have to take care of her this result in the fact that I died like a million times, but it made me try even harder. And the game does know how to pull off a few good tricks. Like for the instant when you change outfits and you have to walk amongst the guards without being noticed. Those high heels making a lot of noise to the RPG elements. Yeah, back then it was something quite new. Now we see it in every single game, but you do get to upgrade Violet's stats. There's a level up system and yeah, good luck getting those skill points. It's so hard to get the skill points. But when you do get them, you can invest in stealth, HP or strength. I went with stealth. Maybe that wasn't the best choice. The flashbacks that she gets is basically telling the story backwards. She remembers the missions and the places where she was sent and all the areas that she 
previously visited. I must say the game really quenched my first for sneaking around. Last time I played a stealth game it was the Hitman trilogy, the new one, the remastered one, whichever, the, the one from 2018 and I was so angry at that game. I made a review, it was 200% all negative stuff, only criticism to the point where I didn't upload it because I was afraid I'm gonna get super bullied. Honestly, the new Hitman games are just so bad. Velvet Assassin, however, isn't. And I'm saying this now after about, what, 14 years, 13 years? Never forget while you are playing this this is old but it's good and it feels good and i don't want to give it a number like a rating from one to ten doesn't make any sense because this is sort of like a vintage pc game it's something you play for nostalgia and just to kick back and relax i don't know man i mean is anybody out there still playing old games is it just me do you have a new rtx 3070 but still have old games on your very expensive ssd or maybe you have a very old pc no money to upgrade it or to change it and you feel that old games are your only option have you played this one whichever is the case give velvet assassin in 2022 a try it's cheap it's almost for free don't forget to install nvidia legacy physics yeah you you need that in order to play it it won't work without it and let me know how it went and if you liked it it will be a nightmare for the nazis if the papers fell into enemy hands i was infiltrated into the german reich for exactly this purpose no agent had ever returned from there alive only once I had the papers in hand would I be able to move on to the second part of the operation. My name is Rakashu. There you have it. They say 2021 was kind of a bad year, especially for PC gaming. <laughs> yeah, about that. I won't hold my breath for 2022. I think it's getting to the point where old games are starting to be a good option for this year. Happy New Year's, stay healthy, if not, get healthy, keep the peace, try to recycle, love more, hate less, and read at least one book, at least one book in 2022. These are, <laughs> it's funny because these are things that I kind of say to myself, but nonetheless, I say to you as well, the one watching this video. Thank you for sticking with me in 2021. Thank you for all my new subscribers. You guys are awesome. Have a great year. I long to be back in the war. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only a sum of viscera, blood and bone. creatures without souls.